Migration data is stored in a variety of databases. These sources mainly come from either administrative or survey data collection or a combination of both. You can access migration information from United Nations organizations, regional agencies, and country governments to non-governmental sources and others. When locating migration resources, it's important to consider exactly what you need to know. Here, we'll look at which data sources have different types of migration-related data that might be the most helpful to you. For these purposes, we can look in a few places. The following overview is mainly concerning publicly accessible data that will be the easiest for many of you to access. Although each country, region, or organization may collect their own unique data that is collect private or available upon request. Let's first look at data that the United Nations provides. The UN's main organization dealing with migration is the International Organization for Migration, or IOM for short. The IOM collects data from many sources into one central location in the Migration Data Hub. Here, we can access information on emigration and immigration, both stocks and flows, plus additional statistics. For example, we can see data on integration, forced migration, in addition to other indicators about development, public opinion, and policymakers' views on migration. Many of these indicators are numeric. For example, integration data here consists of statistics on migrant unemployment, since this is a way to demonstrate how well migrants participate in their destination country's labor market. If you want a one-stop shop for data, the IOM's Migration Data Portal is a good first stop. But if you have more targeted research questions, you can go directly to specific data sources. The UN Division of Economic and Social Affairs, or UNDESA for short, is a great starting point. While the IOM compiles information from both administrative and survey data, UNDESA typically compiles just administrative data. At its core, this UN body addresses demographic information. This is a great source of migration data since immigrants and emigrants are usually identified as such within demographic data sets. UNDESA's data is usually downloadable in a spreadsheet like this. You'll typically get a main data page and then some disaggregation options of your choice. Here, we disaggregate by male and female migrants. Let's say we want to know the number of immigrants France had in 2018. We then locate France in the destination countries column and total up the values from each of the origin countries listed here. If we specifically want to know how many of these emigrants are from Senegal, for example, we need to only look at the number in this cell, where France is the destination country and Senegal is the origin country. Essentially, the key with UNDESA spreadsheets is to identify your origin and destination of interest and then find their key intersection on the spreadsheet. UNDESA can also provide some financial information like remittance sending, but for these more economic migration aspects, it's best to look at the World Bank's data. Being a bank, or really a group of banks, they take care to monitor where cash is being sent around the world and even the subsequent effects of those transfers. They're a good option for remittance data along with the UN Food and Agriculture Organization, which monitors and analyzes remittance effects in rural areas. Outside of the UN system, other regional governance organizations collect data that is relevant to their jurisdiction. Eurostat is a good starting point for migration data in Europe. Additionally, participating countries often compile their security data, for instance, in central locations. 
Frontex is a great example of this. It is the European agency responsible for monitoring border security. This is where countries will send their data on irregular migration, for example. In addition, European countries will make the same data available in their national portals. For countries without regional membership in Frontex and organizations, their data will often show up in global governance databases like the one for the UN Refugee Agency, or UNHCR. Additionally, the OECD keeps track of migration specifically for OECD countries. This is generally good quality data. The main drawback is that data is generally not included for countries not part of the OECD. So we have UN level data sources, regional data sources, and others a portion of which are identical to data you'd find on a national level via a country's statistical agency and or immigration and registration services. But certainly, there's more than that, right? Well, if you need even more data sources, especially for Europe, there's a database of migration databases. This was developed for the EU-funded Reminder Project. This sheet is an up-to-date archive of almost every imaginable source of migration info. Click on the link in the description to be overloaded to your heart's content with numbers, survey responses, and research findings. Here, you can search migration databases using three main criteria. Country, indicator, or database. When searching by country, remember you'll need to decide if you want that country's immigration, integration, or emigration statistics, since this will affect the story the data tells. For migration indicators, this is probably the widest range of variables you'll have to sift through. Remember that migration indicators could be things like attaining citizenship in the destination country, but this can also be about where a migrant completed their education and where they previously lived according to this database. By far though, the most extensive part of the database is where it describes other databases. Since each country, with enough capacity to do so, collects their own migration data, there are naturally a multitude of sources to choose from on this part of the Excel sheet. So. Sort the sheet by reporting country if you're looking for a specific state's migration data. Otherwise, you may choose from a multitude of options to sort the database according to your needs. Since migration data can be found in a number of places, it is key to know exactly where to look. Depending on what you need to know, large-scale data compilations like the IOM's data portal can be useful. For more targeted questions, be sure to look at country-specific data sources. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell for updates about new videos. See you next time!